Greetings, everyone. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm trying to get ready for so much going on this weekend and preparing for the full moon. When the solstice is just coming in, it's a lot of energy shifting, a lot of um, great energy shifting as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's just preparing for everything that's getting ready to unfold. So, I wanted to definitely make sure that I get this full moon reading in for y'all so y'all can start prepping yourselves for this full moon energy we're about to enter into, this winter solstice energy, especially, you know, today is a, a lot of different portals um, opening at this moment in time. And really, if you take advantage, like even going to 1221 tonight <clears throat> or in the morning, basically, will be a great opportunity for you to do all your work at the same time so let's go ahead and start with my reading and my energy for the day so the eye of water so what i always tell people is that to me she's the seductress she's the seductress of our our desires our dreams our wishes and our wants but she's the energy and the deity that um kind of resides over bringing in what that is bringing the people places and things bringing the opportunities everything that we need that's genuine to our heart genuine to what we really need and want so that's the foundation energy over the full moon reading which is a great start um it's setting the tone and that's what this whole going into the new year going into this new season is all about to me is setting the tone setting the energy that you want to receive as you plan and prepare for next year. And that's what Oma Earth is all about. Planning, preparing, new ideals, new financial opportunities, new um, abundance, new situations, leaving the old behind and, you know, really going into the new. And some of us might be going into this new alone or having to separate ourselves from other people, making sure that we're taking the time to really um, strategically prepare ourselves for what we're getting ready to embark upon, what we're getting ready to, you know, get into so we can take full advantage of what this new year is getting ready to bring us. And if you haven't already been following me, I swear I pulled this card a lot, especially this year. And this is the entrepreneur card. It's the craft card. So it's the card about really listening to your true heart's desire, listening to what it is that um resonates with you what is it what is i think you're passionate about the things that really drive you and make you get up every day or that you've been sitting on if you've been sitting on it i've been fussing probably all year saying no get off the fence this is the time to move because we've been doing the work some of the time has been you know planning and executing um strategic um moves but right now, this is the energy and the time frame for you to like, okay, you sitting on an ideal, you sitting on a plan, which is all about on my earth, go ahead and move on it. This is the time. This year that's coming up is really the year of the entrepreneur. Um, so it should be like a lot of new businesses birthing a lot of new ideals because people are moving and shifting into a new energy. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> but the guardian card comes up and I love her in this card and this energy because it's really saying, hey, your spirit guides are all around you. They're here to support you. They're supporting anything that you decide to do, any movement that you're doing at this moment in time. So don't hesitate. Don't fret. Don't worry, because once again, it's confirmation along with this energy that the, you know, support is there. Whatever it is that you need is getting ready to unfold. This is the future present present card right here in the um past. So this is more recent past. So it's about, hey, we've already been in the planning. We've already done the work. Y'all hear me say this all the time. We've been in the planning stages. We've been in, you know, this year of doing the re the reflection and what it is that needs to happen in order for us to manifest these abundance that we need in our life. And it's all about the moves that you're making, definitely stepping out on, you know, creative energy, creative paths or entrepreneurial paths that you've been thinking about and maybe holding back, knowing that you are supported by the guardian, knowing that you are supported by your angels, by your ancestors. They got you. Making sure 
that you are staying on the path. Stay on it. This is like the outcome. Stay on the path. It might seem like it's a lot of distractions. It might seem that there are some things that are going to want to call your attention. Stay on the path. You're on the right path. So stay focused on it. And to set it all off, we get the power card. <laughs> Metatron and clear cords. So I know a lot of us probably already have clear cords. This is a great time for you to pull that out. Use that during your full moon rituals. Amplify everything. But this card is just really here to remind us that this is the angel and, and the, the crystals and everything confirmation that the power is there the power is behind us we got the golden touch the Midas touch at this moment in time anything that we want wish or desire is coming into fruition and this is you know the greatest time to use this information age especially if you know anything about Metatron go do your research on that and how um, that energy really can work with you as you're moving into this new year so full moon like I said, it's really sitting down. What do you need to release? What is it that you need to really make the plans for as you're moving into this new cycle? What is it that you need to write down so you can burn it and release it into the ethers? So you're releasing it. What is it that you feel that you need to bring in in order to accomplish? So you're stating your intentions. This is a time frame where it's really, really important, especially over this month, especially within these next two weeks for you to really state your intentions. What are you wanting to bring in? But sit with yourself. Make sure that what you're asking for is truly serving your highest self. You know, I hear, I say it all the time. Make sure that you are asking for things, people, places, things, whatever, that is truly going to serve your highest self. Because if it doesn't, it's not in alignment with where you're evolving to. And it's a distraction. And like I said, the main energy that I really want y'all to focus on is know that you're on the right path. If you are here, you are on the right path. If you are doing your, your work, you are on the right path. Because it's all about making sure that we do the inside work and the outside work. Okay? I love you. I will definitely make sure I post another video tomorrow just to drive home a couple of other points that I really want to get across um, for y'all. Um, full moon, probably rituals, things. I posted something on my um, Instagram earlier, but the main thing is like, you know, make sure that y'all taking the time to cleanse, release any energy that you might have been holding on to for the year. What has kicked your ass this year? <laughs> Whatever it is, let it go. And, you know, speak into existence. Speak life into the future. When you're stating these intentions, don't state these intentions like you are begging or you are in doubt or in lack. Make sure that you're stating intentions from a space of you already received it, that you have gratitude and you're thankful for what is unfolding for you. Okay? Don't ever... Feel like you need to dwell in an energy that's not serving you. Don't allow people to steal your joy. Don't allow people to steal your progress and the things that you are doing and moving into. State the intentions. Make it very plain. Focus that energy on what it is that you're building every day. Make sure that you're working towards your goals and working towards this vision that you have. These ideals that you've been planting, these seeds you've been planting. And you might have to harvest some of this by yourself. A lot of this energy that's in these cards right now is showing me that you're going to feel like you're by yourself while you're moving through this transition. But know that you're supported. You're supported by your guardians. You're supported by your ancestors. You're supported by higher energy. And everything that is going to align these situations and dynamics for you. Until it's time for that particular tribe to come into play. The dynamic that is going to, you know, propel you for that next level when you're ready. Don't be afraid to do this, this work alone right now. Don't be afraid to sit at your own table for a second. 
Make sure that you are, like I said, tapping into what needs to happen, how it needs to happen, and focus your intentions on that. You might have to sit back from the extra party and you might have to sit back from, you know, going out to a lunch or a dinner or two because you're working on something that is truly valuable. And that includes your desire, your heart's desire. Make sure that you keep that in mind. This is not about money. This is about working and focusing towards what is your genuine heart desire. All right. I love y'all. I will talk to you soon.